Hi there, and let's get to it. I'm back on my editing timeline, and I want to demonstrate how you can continue to work on your clips after you've laid down a rough cut. Now, a rough cut is the process of you going through all your videos, finding the best takes, laying down in and out points to exclude parts of the clips you don't want, and laying them down in the timeline. Once that's done, you start the actual editing process. This is where you start cleaning up all these clips, getting rid of any visible issues, taking into account pace, matching the action between cuts, etc. To do this, we're going to be using the trim tool, which is one of the most powerful tools you can use in editing. Let's zoom in a little bit closer, Control plus. So the trim tool becomes active anytime I'm hovering over the edge of a clip, whether at the beginning or at the end. It also appears on edit points, which is the edges of two clips side by side. If I face in the direction of the clip, I can then choose to either contract it or expand its length. I'm not changing the actual timing of the video inside the clip, only its start point and its end point. If I click the center, I'll be editing both trim points simultaneously. The line is green to indicate that there is space on either side of these clips for me to continue trimming. But once I reach the end of one of my clips, I can go no further. So this is essentially when the camera started recording. Right now I'm trimming using my standard selection tool or normal edit mode. When I trim either of the clips away from one another, I leave a gap. If I don't want to do that, what I could do is go into trim mode. The shortcut for it is T on your keyboard. I'm able to grab the right hand side of the clip and move the following clip in afterwards. I can do that from the opposite end as well. And now I get this good visual representation of how much the clip is moving and where. Because I've got auto selection enabled in the video above and in the audio tracks below, they're moving as well. So really the difference between normal edit mode and trim mode is similar to the difference between insert and overwrite. One is destructive but keeps the timeline the same duration, while the other one is non-destructive but does amend the placement of the clips around it. Inside of other NLEs like Premiere and Final Cut, you'll see the same types of tools being represented by yellow and red icons. When I deactivate the auto selection tools for the video and audio tracks outside of this trim selection, they no longer move together with my footage. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.